Okay, uh, here's a quick video on how to connect the app to your computer. So, first thing, you come to the apps page on Google Play, and there will be a link right here. You just open this link, and here there will be two files to download. Uh, the first one, the VJ joystick, and the receiver application. You download both, and first you have to install the VJ. So double click. The most important is to select these two options the configuration application and the the monitor application so install it it's gonna ask for you to install the drivers so you install it and it's done uh, now you have to look for an application called Configure VJ that you've just installed. And here you need to change something. The number of buttons. Uh, it will be 8, so you change to 16 and hit apply. It might ask you to reset your computer, so if it does, you reset. Okay, so um, now you open the, you unzip the receiver application and go to the this file, and you have to check to running compatibility mode with um, Windows 7, and also to execute as an administrator. So hit apply, and then you can execute. Uh, it might ask you to the firewall might ask for a permission to give access to the network so if it does you have to allow so now I have the app downloaded here I'm gonna open and basically first both uh, devices must be connected to the same Wi-Fi connection uh, it doesn't work with cables at all, so it must have a Wi-Fi connection. And with both devices connected to the same one, you just check the IP. Uh, you might have more than one IP, so you have to to see what is your main connection, your <coughs> what is default. Network interface, so check the IP and type it here. So it's the same, so click connect and it's working. You can see the the angle. And I can also check the, the buttons. So that's it. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, and by the way, uh, if you're getting some delay or something like this, uh, like you're moving the steering wheel but uh, the values are reaching the computer like uh, one or two seconds later, you can try to change this value depending on your experience and you can also set the, the steering wheel value so in my case I will put to clean 108 degrees so now when I 
when I put to 90 degrees it reaches the minimum value and not 900 as default uh, next video I'm gonna show you how to configure this app on, on some games okay so um, one last thing um, <clears throat> to really check if this the VGI is working you can use this VGI monitor application and basically when you press a button right here it has to to show on the receiver and same happens with with the steering wheel you just rotate and it has to to be shown right here